Hi everyone, so I've been informed recently that there's been some instances where um, nurses haven't been able to uh, spirometry because they're un un unsure how to do it. So I just thought I'd make this uh, quick video uh, to go through everything that you'll need to do. So this is the Spirobank 2 that we use. Uh, there's one on Ward 7, one on Ward 4. Um, the one in Ward 7 is kept in my locker. Um, the key's in my locker so you can help yourself to it at all times, okay? Uh, these um, turbines are kept next to my desk uh, in a big white box. Uh, they're one patient use only, okay? So don't reuse them for uh, different patients, okay? So turn it on using this, okay? Hold it in. Sorry, I'm gonna get interrupted a few times probably. Um, so that's the automatic screen that comes up. Just click okay and you'll go to this function screen, okay? So for each patient, you'll need to put their own ID in, okay? Click that, uh, and then you have to change their birthday, their height, their weight, their gender, uh, their ethnicity, because it all goes to predicting what their values should be, okay? So uh, if you go to new, this is all my data. Um, oh, bugger, of course. Um, so we'll change that to whatever, that doesn't matter too much because I'm not gonna do it properly. Uh, mail, and then you go across to using uh, ethnicity, and then you can go up and down on those. Obviously, I am Caucasian, how do I get that? There we go, and click okay. Okay, now that's all in. Now you want to go to Spiro, and we often use FVC. So FVC stands for Forced Vital Capacity, and then you've got vital capacity there. We want to use force vital capacity, okay? Click that button, and it comes up with what the patient needs to do, okay? So get your patient in an optimum position, so sitting in a chair, on the edge of the chair, preferably upright, so their chest is in a decent position, okay? You get them to breathe normally. Let's come back back on that. Get them to breathe normally for three breaths, and then get them to inspire. So breathe in as much as they can and hold it, okay? And then when they get to that peak uh, inspiration, they blow out with absolute force and they keep going and they keep going. You tell them to keep going, you'll hear some beeping. Um, at that point, you, you still have to tell them to keep going until an alarm comes up. I will show you a video afterwards at a demonstration. And then when the alarm sounds, you get them to breathe in as much as and as much as possible and as hard as possible. Okay? And then afterwards you'll get the results and I will show you that in a second. Okay, so now we're gonna get Sumbo to do a demonstration of it. So we need to I'll put all her ID in. We need to go to Spyro and then click FVC when the patient's ready. Okay. So Sumbo's gonna sit on the edge of her chair and she's gonna do normal breaths. She's gonna take a deep breath in and hold it, then put the device in her mouth, clamp it quite well around the mouth so there's no, um, no air that can escape. And then she's gonna blow as hard as she can for as fast as she can. You'll hear some ticking, you've got to carry on going. And then the alarm afterwards, Sumbo's gonna breathe back in and then that will be done, okay? So when you're ready, Sumbo. Okay. Okay, so keep going, keep going, you hear the ticking, keep going, keep going, keep going. Out alarm, breathe in. Well done. Good. So it's not easy. It's not easy to do. Um, but that's what we've got to do. If the patient breathes in too early, then uh, we're not going to get accurate results. So the patient's got to blow for as long as possible. They're going to feel like they can't blow any more air out. Um, but you've got to encourage them to do that. Okay, and then afterwards you should get the results. Here we go. So now people get confused with this as well. Um, so you've got your FVC, forced vital capacity, and you've got your FEV1, which is your forced expiratory volume. The one stands for one second. So it's the amount that you've blown off in one second, in the first one second of doing it, okay? So the PRED is your predicted based on what um, in, um, information you've put in and the PRE stands for pre okay so that's pre-medicine okay so Sumbo was predicted to do 3.39 litres and she blew 5.53 
and that's 163% of what she was expected, which is good. 2.97 was meant to be blown off over the first one second, and Sumbo blew off 4.48, which is 151% of what she was done doing. Okay, so those are the uh, things that we're plotting on uh, the document chart, which again I will show you in a second. Okay, and you also get let's have a look that as well. So that's what it should look like. That's your graph. Um, don't pay too much attention to that. We doctors are only interested in the figures, really. Okay. Okay, guys, so this is the new documentation chart for spirometry recording that myself and Frank Martin from Outreach have come up with. Um, so first and foremost, obviously, we want a sticker in the top right hand corner and we want all the patient's uh, details here. So their weight, gender, height and ethnicity, just so that anybody moving forward uh, can enter those details if required. Um, predicted volume, uh, if possible, because you can get that on the uh, actual device. And then um, you can work out for every kilogram, just multiply uh, what the kilograms are by 20 mils. And that's what um, they're estimated should be. OK, um, date, time and initial uh, who's done it. And then plot on here their FVC. So just put a circle, um, a dot, whatever. So if it's three uh, and a half litres, um, so zero, one, two, three and a half litres. You can write a dot and write the figure as well, if possible. Um, and then we can plot moving forward what each one is. And if you can put the FEV1 in here for us, just so that we know everything and any any uh, any other details on that. So if you think that the patient wasn't able to do it properly, whether the patient was in a poor position, etc. cetera. Um, the documentation, um, Margaret and Lisa, uh, the war clerks on each respective ward, have got the main copy, they've got the electronic copy. So this is what we should be using now, please. Um, if you have any other questions about spirometry, um, if you want a demonstration in front of you, I'm more than happy to do that. I've got the device, I've got my own um, turbine that I use. So just get in touch with me, drop me an email, come and find me, uh, call me, whatever. Uh, I'm happy to, to, to help you with that, okay? Um, I'm going to put the spirometry presentation uh, that I've come up with on the Padlet. Please access that. There's lots of information on Padlet. Um, don't make that a waste of my time, please. I spent a lot of uh, effort um, creating that. Um, so make use of it. Um, but yeah, do get in touch if there's any issues moving forward.